And I'd also like to extend an invitation for you to come out and visit the Washington's first congressional district and see some of the great work happening with our farmers and agriculture there. I sent you a more formal invitation, but I hope you'll be able to find the time to come out. Plus, we're getting, you know, starting to get to the time of year where weather gets better and it'll be pretty beautiful out there. Um, you know, I have very high hopes for the new SNAP employment and training programs that are out there, the pilots that are out there. Um, I introduced a bill that was based on work we have done in Washington State, and that's kind of been the model of the program that we included in the Farm Bill. And I wanted to get your feedback. I think you said you had 43 responses so far, but I wanted to get feedback on how the request for proposal process has been going, what types of proposals you've received, and are you on track to make a decision on those later this month? Uh, 35 states, uh, over 40 applications. They're in the process of being reviewed. I, I believe that our decision making will probably take place in the first part of March. Okay. Um, the projects range everywhere from demand job uh, opportunities to uh, uh, some of these folks are obviously very difficult in, in terms of their circumstances, their barriers to employment. So the so there'll be a concerted effort in some of these projects to remove those barriers and to provide the help and assistance that folks need to get to work. Uh, some are, are focused on potentially apprenticeships uh, that could potentially lead to uh, gainful employment. Uh, so there is a broad array of, of options. You're correct, Washington is a model for the rest of the country. And our hope is that through these 10 projects that we create a best practices model, if you will, or manual uh, that other states can follow. We also hope that the conversation allows states that are currently receiving uh, over $300 million to utilize those resources fully and more efficiently. Uh, many states do not take full advantage of the 50-50 money on employment and training, which is unfortunate. Uh, and many states may not be using those resources as efficiently and as effectively as they can. So our, our hope is we, we've put a lot of uh, time and effort into this, and I am personally involved in this uh, in terms of, of, of overseeing that it moves forward. Well, thank you. Thank you. Look forward to uh, hearing, hearing the results in March. Um, on trade, in your testimony, you highlighted the importance of trade to agriculture, definitely in our region, and opening, making sure we open new markets. Um, Ambassador Froman came out to my district and met with my farmers on the Trans-Pacific Partnership in particular. And it is very, very important to our dairy farmers that any, any access that U.S. grants on dairy imports is balanced with commercially meaningful access in Canada and Japan. And my farmers are very concerned at this point that there may be new access for access to the U.S. market without making sure that we have made um, meaningful new access into Japan and, and Canada. And while we made great progress on the safety net in the farm bill, um, I hope you'll encourage a positive deal for our dairy farmers. And I wondered if you have engaged with your Canadian counterparts at all on this issue or have any other feedback for us on this issue. Well, we have engaged with the Canadians, but they have been very reluctant to negotiate. Very reluctant to negotiate. And in fact, they have acknowledged an unwillingness to put any a real significant deal uh, in, in the discussion. <laughs> Um, I'm not quite sure whether it's their politics or whether it's the, the, they're concerned about whether or not we can make a deal without the pr president having the trade promotion authority that every president's had since Franklin Roosevelt. Uh, but whatever the reason, uh, they have been far less willing to negotiate than the Japanese. Uh, we have been making some progress in terms of our conversations with the Japanese. There's still work to be done, uh, but the Canadians is another matter. Uh, and. Uh, you know, I, my hope is, given the magnitude of this deal and the importance of it to American agriculture and to the American economy, uh, that the, the Canadians take a different view and engage more meaningfully in negotiations. Thank you. Um, I, I would say, let me, if I could just ahead. say, uh, it, it, this is not about getting a deal, it's about getting a good deal. And if it's not a good deal, then there won't be a deal. Thank you. Um, very important issue. So thank you for being engaged and involved there. And um, I'll yield back the remainder of my time, Mr. Chair. Thank you, General Lay. If you'll back, uh, Mr. Austin Scott for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Secretary Vilsack, thanks for being here today. And I want to...